So as soon as Aaron and the guys started slaving away on the truck, I started looking for something else to buy. And I think I might have found it down in San Diego. If I can buy a car in San Diego, that gives me an excuse to go to San Diego, which is uh, on the ocean, which is where the weather's good and there's palm trees and good-looking chicks. So I don't care what I got to pay for it. I'm going to buy it. Then, when I rolled up to the owner's place, oh, yeah, my trip got even better. I'm like, holy hot rod nirvana, man. This is rad. You must be Jason. You yeah, how you doing? Richard, up, Richard? how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. You said look for the big ball guy. So there right we go. On. My name is Jason Sharp, and I run Sharp Engineering. It's a little uh, 29. Yeah. So uh, this is pretty cool, Brian. What's this? Yeah, we just got this thing at the big three swap meet. Jason showed me around his place, and I had a look at some of his cool stuff. Where in the world did that come from? I've never seen anything like it. Turns out his grandfather was Al Sharp, who was pretty famous in the old school hot rodding world for designing custom performance parts. I guess when I talked to you, I didn't realize that you're like a working shop. But I didn't come all the way out here for parts. So where's this uh, little tea bucket I was looking at on the interwebs? Oh, here we go. This is what it came for. This is it. That is so cool, man. It almost looks like, uh, you know, like one of the Hot Wheels things you played with as a kid. Right, yeah. So a T-Bucket is basically a hot-rodded Model T. When the more popular Model A bodies were hard to get, greasers would just throw a T-Body on a Model A chassis, and, and uh, it just kind of came about that that was a T-Bucket. But in the 60s, it became kind of a fad. That there were actually people selling T-Bucket kits. So this was the kit you could order out of a catalog. Or something like that, right? The yep. body and stuff? Yeah. They sold you a little square tubing frame, and you could put whatever motor you want in them. So this is just a standard 350, no, no big deal, no? It's a 327. 327, it's got, got it. It's got a big cam in it. It's just nuts. I mean, it looks like a cartoon. I mean, the steering wheel is literally a stick between your legs, and it's straight up and down like that. It's not like this, you know? It's a scary car to drive. Is it? Oh, yeah. I... Will it fire up? Yeah, I can see. It might be a little cold-blooded. So can we go for a ride? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> it's real raw and a little squirrely. Freaking super cool. The rake on that thing just kind of freaks you out. It's got to be a sight going down the road. I wish I was over there looking at it. I'd be like, rat. Judging by the angle of the cab, I wasn't really into some donuts because I figured that might just throw me out. Well, you slam on the brakes at this angle, and you're just going over. Yeah, it's the catapult. It's pretty much a death machine. <laughs> that is so rad, dude. And it seems so deadly. Right? <laughs> How much for it? What do you want for it? I was I thinking like 12. 12 grand? You won't see another one. No, I haven't seen one like this in a long time, except for the pages of old Hot Rod magazines. So, of course, he hit me a little high. The car is rare, but he's got to leave a little meat on the bone. I still got to get it back to Texas, and I want to be under 10. I was thinking more around 7,500, 8 grand. How about uh, 10,5? How about 9,500? Cash. Nice. OK. Sounds good. Hell, we settled at 9,500, which is going to put me a little over 10 when I get it back home, but it's a good deal. Let's uh, go count you some money and get a title and do some paperwork. Anyways, I got to get out of here before I spend any more money because I got something really big coming up, and that's already putting a squeeze on my bank account. And when I'm surrounded by this many hot rods, I would really like to just buy the whole place. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dangerous. All right, let's see what kind of stuff you're made of. Wow, what a win. Richard has tasked me with uh, getting this tea bucket ready to sell. The engine fires up, but it runs like <laughs> You know, cars are like people. Sometimes they let themselves go. I missed my 10 o'clock ones. I don't even know why they have seat belts in this thing. Who the heck would want to be strapped into this thing? I'm hoping all it needs is a thorough tune-up. You got to get back in shape. You could almost drive this in a parade, like stand up on the seat and just like kind of. This would be perfect for Richard, man. Basically, what I've done to it is I've put spark plugs, spark plug wires, a cap, rotor, and I'm going to set the timing. How do you like that, Merka?
Now that it's running better, we're gonna make it look better too. Ooh, ooh, it's like Christmas. Raise the value by like $100. Sweet. Yeah. You know what they say, no pain, no gain. All right, Tony, get rid of this thing. Hey guys, take five and come outside. You're gonna wanna see this. My new toy's here. Another toy? You bought a rig? Heck no, man. We're gonna start crushing stuff and doing backflips. Oh. Monster truck, man. Really? Yeah. Let me introduce you to the latest addition to my Gas Monkey Empire. That's right, a Gas Monkey Monster Jam truck. Super rad. Monster Jam is the ultimate monster truck showdown. These crazy car crushers draw big crowds. Big and brash is what Gas Monkey's all about, so I thought, why not sponsor a team? It's another great way to get our name out there and one of the loudest ways possible. Now, we know cars, but this is kind of a different ball game, and I'm excited to get in there and play. What are we running for a motor? This motor, we put a 540 cubic inch Richard Midget motor, and it's blown injected on alcohol. Wow. So it just dynoed out at 1,500 horse before we got here. That is rad. And Lindsay, you're the mechanic? Yes, sir. Right on. Hey, Aaron, check it out. <laughs> All right, check it out. Uh, my seat's up there. Get up in there, Aaron. He's our resident race car driver. So in actuality, Richard's monster truck isn't even a truck at all. It's a car. Dodge Super B. Clear? Yep. Go for Clear. Sitting up there, the big kid in me thinks this is a monumental waste of material. But the little kid inside of me thinks this is awesome. It's like a hot rod version of a dump truck. Woo! You ready to be a uh, truck driver, Aaron? Monster truck driver? I've been ready. I just haven't had one before. Well, here you go. Hey, don't oh, take this guy's man. job yet, man. Easy. Well, it's like he fits the seat pretty good. Just got to move the pedals closer. Oh. <laughs> the reason the team's here in Dallas is because we got a major event coming up next week. We'll let you guys get after it. My home is your home. Thank you very much. They're going to claim an unused portion of our garage and uh, get our monster prepped and ready. 